What's up everyone? Yano here. It has been a while since I made a video. I haven't been diving recently. Uh, haven't been playing video games. Um, so I thought maybe I'd try to throw this on online. Um, if this goes well, then maybe you're watching this. If it doesn't, then it's never going to make it onto the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but as some of you may know, I am a bolo tie champion. I have not worn a regular tie in at least 10 years. I think that started with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I believe it was the, um, the, the gas crisis episode where they go door to door trying to sell gasoline. And Charlie dresses up like a Texas oilman. Oilman. Um... Yeah, I don't even know what accent that's supposed to be, but <laughs> in that episode, he's wearing a bolo tie, and that was my favorite show, is my favorite show, and I thought, well, Charlie's wearing bolo ties, then I'm going to start wearing bolo ties. And so I went out and bought a couple, and I was not very impressed with them. They just weren't great quality, the uh, clasp, if that's the right word. Um... It was very static. It slid up and down the, the cord and frayed and anyway. So not long after I decided I'm gonna start making my own bolo ties and um, I find these rocks. I started looking into rocks and before I knew it I was buying amethyst slices online and going to these rock mineral and gem expos and buying rocks there and turning them into bolo ties and I honestly really like what I've done with it but the one thing that's been missing from them in terms of uh, I don't know creativity in terms of looks is uh, the tips the tips you know I, I buy pieces for them online uh, I buy tips online I buy clasps online uh, but the tips are kind of boring um, there's not much to them you know some of them are kind of cool but at least where I've looked, they've been, you know, not a lot of variety, and they're all kind of these metal pieces, different designs. Anyway, in my opinion, the bolo tie revolution starts with new kinds of tips. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I have this rock. I don't even know what kind it is. Um, any geologists, feel free to chime in. It appears to be some kind of quartz uh, but it's not quartz. It's a very straight line grain. Uh, I believe quartz is extremely hard. This rock looks soft. <laughs> Can you see it? I don't really know what I'm showing you here. Um, but my plan today is to dremel this sucker in half, sand it down, and try to drill some holes into it and turn it into bolo tie tips for my next bolo. So. We will see how that goes. Um, not really holding my breath because I don't know anything about rocks, although uh, I wish I knew more. I'm a, I'm a geologist in a parallel universe somewhere. I think I could do that. But here we go. I'm going to try to create some bolo tie tips out of this sucker and you are going to get the pleasure of watching. Uh, so first things first, let's pop on these safety glasses. Don't want any rock dust to the eyeballs. I am sitting outside. Oh shoot, I should probably close my door so uh, that, that TV sound doesn't get in the way. There's a uh, Iowa and Penn State going, game going on right now. It's, you know, Clemson season's done, so you gotta watch who you can watch here. All right, I'm just gonna eyeball this about in the middle. I have no idea if this is even gonna come close to getting through this rock. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna turn the camera off and which way is this gonna spray? Okay. And uh, you're not gonna know I ever did this. So, spoiler alert, if you're watching this, it means I, uh, I got pretty close to the end and was uh, created something I'm satisfied with. So let's get to it. Where do you think? About right there. It's about halfway. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's like butter, baby. That is cutting right through there. I just hope the uh, rock doesn't split while I'm doing this. It's gonna be easy to split on that grain. Yeah, oh boy, it's kind of breaking already. I'd probably be better off just trying to cut it with some shears or something. Is that even close to halfway? Eh, kind of. <laughs> All right. I wish it was spinning the other way, but uh, I have a glove. I should probably put a glove on, yeah. Eh, I don't feel like getting up. All right, carry on. I'm getting covered in rock dust. Doing this outside was the absolutely correct choice. In fact, let me uh, put my phone in my pocket here at least. Ooh, Dremel's getting covered in dust. Yeah, this is cutting better than I thought it would actually. But uh, let's try to keep this going without dremeling my finger and all right, that's not very straight. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I'm not a master carpenter. Yep. Thumb, thumb is in the way. Let's try. Uh-oh, those lines are not matching up. <laughs> That's all right, I'm gonna sand it down anyway. This cut doesn't have to be perfect. Whoa! <laughs> okay. All right, uh, that just destroyed my little spinny wheel. You know, I wonder if I could just, I'm sure I could snap this sucker in half right now, but that, might lead to some unforeseen consequences so uh yeah i'm probably gonna edit some of this out but right now let's just keep it rolling uh yeah so last time i used my dremel i was installing a stand for a microphone boom on my plastic table and the installation went really well actually but when I got done, I could not find the damn wrench that came with the Dremel that does things like loosen this and unscrew that. So I'm left to using some pliers and my own screwdriver here. I just, I can't even fathom where that wrench could have been. It was, it was sitting right there. It was right there. I mean, I was only one beer deep at the time, so I can't even blame it on that. I only got not very many of these left. I hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> well, I got four or five, three or four. Should be good. All right. Got a cricket feller over there. This is on my back porch. Um, got some woods behind me. If I lean back, you might be able to see it. Uh, yeah, it's mostly quiet out here. We get a lot of deer. Saw a fox a few weeks ago. That was nice. I haven't seen a fox here in years. Um, I hear owls. I haven't seen an owl in a while. 
but there's been some barred owls pretty close the last few nights. They make that sound. All right. Back to the bolo. Let's see. I'm about 70% of the way through, I'd say. Like I said, I'm sure I could just snap it in half at this point, but I don't want it splintering in a weird way, so we're going to keep dremeling until it falls apart, I hope. And back at it. Well, let me try to find a groove first. Uh, sure, that'll work. Oh! be getting to the point where I have to just snap it. Oh. Oh. Dremel's starting to take a mind of its own. Come on. Woo! All right. <laughs> That actually didn't go too badly. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of a nasty cut. Not smooth at all, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna... Maybe you'll get a line here. <laughs> I'm gonna smooth it down. It's actually pretty polished. Uh, yeah, so what's the next move? Those are fairly equal. Eh. Got a millimeter or two off, maybe, in terms of length. Uh, what do I want to do now? I need to pick a side for where I'm going to drill the hole to insert the cord. And then the other side is going to be for decoration. So which end is prettier? Prettier side should be displayed. Um, Uh-oh, got some buzzing above me. Big carpenter bee. Ooh, all right. Yep. You just stay up there, buddy. I'll stay down here and everybody will be happy, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm worried as soon as I start drilling holes, this thing's going to break in half. <laughs> but I've had this idea for a long time and have no idea what else I was going to do with this rock, so here's what it is. Yeah, I'm going to drill the hole first just to see how that goes before I waste my time trying to smooth this all out and make it pretty. Because if the hole split, splits this thing in half, then it's going to be a wrap, so. All right, back to uh, attachment changing on the Dremel. Boy, covered in rock dust. Yeah, you stay up there. You just, I don't think, carpenter bees aren't going to mess with you anyway. I don't think. I mean, they're big, but I don't think they really sting you. They just want to eat some wood, baby. All right. Oh, yeah, thing got covered. All right, where is my drill bit? You guys even own a drill? Oh, whoops. I, uh, I do not do a lot of carpentry and work, but every time I need a drill, man, this Dremel comes through. I don't know. Dremel is a high RPM, low torque device, and a drill is kind of the opposite. A drill is a low RPM, high torque device. But I've just never drilled through anything that required a lot of torque, I guess. Um, all right. This needs to be done carefully. I think I want to go with this end. Let's see. Oh boy, I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, oh, yeah. Found a piece of my last blade. All right. Uh, shit. 
All right. Very carefully. Let's... Nope. Keep it on point. I don't like all that vibration. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, it's off to a good start, but it's vibrating a lot. And this hole might be a little too big. I feel like it's gonna shake itself apart. It's also making my fingers tingly. <laughs> and vibration is, uh... I might sis out here. I wonder if this might be a bad idea. As long as I don't squeeze too hard, I think I'll be all right. I'm just looking for a way to hold this thing. Oh boy, I don't like this. Maybe this way would be better. just vibrating even more. Well, if I hold it tighter, I'm worried I'm gonna crack it. Yep, that's even worse. All right, I'm just gonna have to hold it. Hope I don't drill a hole in my finger. close to straight <laughs> oh boy yeah that's going at a nasty angle um all right maybe i can try to straighten it out you know that might be good enough I don't, it doesn't have to be super deep i just gotta be able to super glue this thing in here the bow tie tips you buy, you know, at, at the store, or off the shelf, whatever, they probably got, I don't know, at least a centimeter of hole. Maybe not quite that much. But you know, I'm gonna be using freaking super airplane glue when I put this in here, so it doesn't have to be super deep. stop it right there that actually looks okay um, all right I'm gonna cut this feed and run and get my bolo cord real quick I'm worried this hole is not gonna be wide enough to fit in fact I can promise you it's not gonna be so up uh, if I try to widen it you know it's gonna I'm worried I'm just gonna split the rock but let me go get my cord See what we got. Be back. All right, YouTube land, we are back. I've got my uh, bolo cord here. What does this say? Takul Black Color 5. There you go. New. That's good to know. I wonder if there's a market for used bolo tie cord. Um, all right. I wonder how long this is. I don't remember. 10 feet, maybe? That looks like a pretty good, yeah, I think they all fit in there. Kind of, yeah. I'm gonna need a lot of glue. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, that hole's still a little too shallow and a little too narrow. So you can see how far it's going down in there. Yeah, that's not much. And it's scrunching down pretty quick as soon as I get it in there. Yeah, shoot. I don't know. There's nothing epoxy can't solve. I'm worried if I keep drilling at this thing, it is going to crack on me. Maybe I'll go just a little more. It's deeper, but like I said, it's uh, I'd have wobble it around a little bit to make that hole. That might be all right. Let's try that. Pretty day. I can't believe how warm it is for mid-October. Okay, that's doesn't seem to be much better. <laughs> uh, if I could just like, maybe almost like screw it in there. <laughs> oh boy, I wish I hadn't said that. All right. You know what? That's probably going to be okay. It's it is deeper. If I shove some epoxy in there, it might be okay. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. If I just if I keep drilling, I think I'm gonna be getting greedy and it's gonna, it's gonna snap off or something. That's what I'm worried about. Now the next thing what do I want to do on the other end? I really, I mean, I know I've wanted to make these tips for a long time, and I've thought about this for a long time, and I still don't really know. Should I just keep it as is, maybe? It's got that weird cut on the side, but I almost, I kind of had the thought of smoothing it out, maybe, kind of something like that, you know? But maybe I don't want to do that. That's, boy, that's very clear once you cut that cut through the middle except for the scuffs looks like I had this one good cut that's actually pretty clear but I wonder um, which side is better too I think I'd rather display that side although the tips <laughs> I've learned the uh, once you make your tie and you you know you start getting each tie is probably, I don't know, 36 inches long. At least mine are. Although I'd have to measure that. It's been a while since I've made one. Um, but yeah, it comes, you know, wrapped up, coiled like this. I bought it on a spool before, and so it doesn't unroll straight. It always wants to curl around this way and that way, and I've tried to make the tips face a particular direction, and it's usually a fruitless effort. They just kind of twist and bend wherever they want to go so they're at the mercy of the <coughs> of the uh, bolo cord um, okay man I, I almost feel like I should leave it like this <laughs> but let's try it let's uh, let's get this little sander tool and see if we can't just kind of smooth some of this out because that that really doesn't look that good I, I don't have a clean cut through here and this just might smooth it out a little bit let's find out we're experimenting here right this is a first for me probably a first for you hey if you've made your own bolo tie tips drop me a comment let me know how it went I am curious maybe give me some tips some hints secrets of the trade there could be a whole underground bow tie tip creating community that I don't know anything about. 
I also thought there's a uh, there's a glass factory near me, like blowing glass. I bet it'd be cool to uh, maybe get some glass tips too, but I've never blown glass in my life, so that'd have to be, yeah, it's just something to keep in the back of the dome. All right, right now, this is actually pretty sweet. And I really, really, really hope I don't screw it up by doing what I'm about to do. I don't even know what I'm about to do. I guess I'm just gonna kind of smooth this out and maybe taper it to the base. Maybe kind of, like I said, bring this down into more of a rounded point. I think that might be cool. Let's see what happens here. If this starts going south early, then I'm gonna abort mission and drill a hole in the second one and we're gonna be done. So first initial thoughts, uh, it's definitely not going to be clear, which is fine. I just think that's kind of interesting how I cut it that way and it was clear and I'm cutting it this way and it's not. Um, but yeah, that's smoothing out pretty good. I guess I'll carry on. Okay, it's, the good news is it's, geez, it's, uh, you know, sanding down very easily. The bad news is that's going to make it very easy for me to make a mistake. Um, and I'm not doing a great job of tapering right now, so... <laughs> It's going. I'm just not sure I'm improving upon what I had, you know? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, I'm still enjoying it. I'm going to keep on sanding. Whew. Shake this hand out a bit. It's getting crampy. Yeah, so what do you think? Probably looked better before I started messing with it, huh? <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just gonna see if I can smooth that out to kind of end it more of a rounded point. I kind of like the same line of demarcation all the way around it, which more or less is there. It's never gonna be perfect, of course, because I'm not a master craftsman, but I can just smooth this down into kind of a rounded, rounded point at the, at the base here, or uh, at the end. I'm just making it worse. <laughs> well, I've jumped into this now. Might as well see it out.
Yeah, it's starting to taper a little bit. I had to let myself a whole lot of room to really round it out. And that's kind of on purpose, so I didn't want to shoot. Maybe I should come up here and just start sawing. I don't know. Hmm. Once you file the stuff away, there's no putting it back. You gotta be very careful. I just, I don't think I'm gonna be able to improve much on how it looks already. I do wanna smooth it out some more still, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna move this line of demarcation, as I called it, further up. I think I'm gonna keep it about right there. Maybe just a little bit. No, this may be about as good as I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I could take some more off there. Of course, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's not going to be with my skills. going to declare this as done. Maybe I should smooth that, that tip out a little bit. There's still uh, different levels of depth because of my cutting prowess. Now, I think that's it. That's good. Shine a light. Shine some light on it. Uh, I got my cell phone light, but I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna cut the video here and do the next one off camera, cause well, if you stayed on this long, you're probably already kind of bored. Um, yeah, I might. Uh, what's it called Benny Hanna time? Some of this. <laughs> and uh, assuming all goes well, I will see you when I've got. Both of them ready. Until then. All right, we are back. Um, oh, somebody's talking to me. I uh, yeah, I I, I uh, did the other one off camera. I thought the first one took a long time. Um, yeah, it it went off without a hitch. I thought I did a better job of drilling the hole this time. I don't know if you can really see that. Uh, I think that one's a little deeper, wider, more uniform. Still not quite wide enough, but I can jam the uh, I can jam the the uh, cord in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. We can debate whether it looked better before I touched it or not, but uh, I th I think overall this was a, su a uh, success. This is my first foray, my first dabbling into creating my own bolo tie tips. So. Uh, I think overall it went pretty well. I got lucky with the rock I chose. Um, oh, I got a wasp flying around. Uh, you stay right there, buddy. I'll get to you in a second. Um, yeah, I thought it went pretty well. Um, not the prettiest rock, but it was malleable. It was workable. And now I can say I've customized even another part of my tie. The only question left is what uh, what rock am I going to pair it with? And pulled some out here. These are some really pretty rocks. 
that one is uh yeah some of these are names some of them aren't i mean i could stumble through the mispronunciations of the names i don't think it's going to help you guys much yeah i'm a little nervous looking around i got a uh, wasp flying around here <laughs> um but the show must go on right so there's that one i mean yeah, we can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like here with the uh center stone and the tips that's nice that one's that that's a uh, that's a big center stone that's by far the biggest piece i have that i haven't made into a tip or uh, made into a tie i'm kind of leaning towards this one this this is just man i love this rock it's got this clear quartz i guess that is with this green stuff in there i don't know I think the tips kind of match up with the clear stuff well, although the tips are more white than clear. And another option is this red one, which that's also a beautiful rock, but I'm a little worried this one's just not quite durable enough to turn into a bolo. I think as I, if I start putting pressure on these, it's gonna, it's gonna crumble pretty easily. So I'm a little worried about even messing with this one. But that would look something like that. Look at it. It's already spilling pieces all over my computer. Yeah, look at that. It's just, ugh. I just, I don't know. I don't know. That may not be a good candidate for Bolo in general. They got to be a little, a little more durable than that. And last possibility Uh, something like that maybe a little peacock rock got some blues greens uh, yeah that's another pretty one and I don't know what do you guys think drop a comment <laughs> for all the uh, you know one or two people that might be watching this and by the time I read your comment the next tie is probably already going to be made and I'm leading towards this so anyway that's that. That's how you make your own bolo tie tips. I need to go wasp hunting. Until next time, you guys stay classy, San Diego.